What up, everybody? This is the RK Tokens. I am Will Farrow. Leo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. I'm Patrick Cloud. And we got some news for y'all. We could not wait. We had to talk about it. We had to come and let y'all know about Super Nintendo Land coming to Japan's Universal World. Um, What people thought to be a 3D concept of the world, Mm -hmm. which actually is a actual photo of Super Nintendo World in Japan. It looks like they set to go, fellas. I'm definitely people. I am definitely said people. I thought that this was CGI. Once you see it closer, it looks unreal. I thought it was fake, but this is an actual aerial photo of uh, Universal Studios Japan, right? Yes. Yeah, man. You see the uh, entrance down there with the star and walking in through the tunnel. That's the entrance into the land. First mm-hmm. thing you'll see behind you is Peach's Castle already. Yeah, this is this is this is crazy. Um, uh, before see. we before we dive in, because I definitely want to zoom in and kind of look at it and see what everything is. Let's 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 look at the whole park. Like I've, yeah. I've never seen Universal Studios Japan. What are y'all's first thoughts? First of all, Nintendo next to Hogwarts. Like, whoever did that, just bravo, bravo. <laughs> Come That's on, man. Right. It's like That's it's right. like two of the greatest franchises. Just like, hey, we're neighbors. You gonna hear hoo, 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 and Havala Kadabra. Like, it, it's <laughs> magical right now. Um, but the fact that like Nintendo Land is just the fact Hogwarts got a lake. Do we have a lake at uh, at Universal? No, I don't believe we do. And even the layout of Universal Japan, it just it just seems so much more. I, I want to say smaller, I do, but when I think about when Universal, uh, you know, when Super Nintendo World comes here to LA, I have no idea where they're gonna put it. Like I, I really can't think of any place because remember, there's two sections to Universal here in LA. There's the up top where you walk in, and there's a, the shows up there. But then there's escalators that take you down to where Jurassic Park is, where Transformers is. Uh, I think there's one more ride down there as well. Oh, the mummy. The mummy's down there too. Yeah. Where where is Super Nintendo World gonna go in LA? Listen, Honestly, probably oh what what? I, go? I was gonna say probably where you go take the uh the tour, the universal the tour through the lots, because there's a lot of land over there that they can start expanding. Well, I was I was gonna say movie movie uh buffs and people who like the classics aren't gonna like this answer, but I feel like it's it's time for some of that old stuff to go. Like I get Gotta it. Go. I get that they're classics, they're masterpieces, moi, all that. Watch <laughs> them on in your own time. But like, let's let's be honest. Anyone born past 1995 don't care about Waterworld, okay? No facts. <laughs> that no can facts. go. I I think they already took the um. Oh God, this is showing my age. I don't. I forget what the the movie that was based on like Infernos and, and Fires. Backdraft. Backdraft. I think they might have changed that already. I think they have. I don't think they do that anymore. There's um, a couple of things in that back lot that can go. Right? Honestly, I'll, I'll be honest too. Like this is another unpopular one. Nintendo could replace the Simpsons attraction. It just got there. Look, I like I like the donut. That's it. Everything else, like yo, I'm just I'm just saying, like it could get condensed, or. I got amazingly drunk at Moe's, so I have very good memories. Right? <laughs> Moe's Tavern turned up. They got the little restaurant there to, that's over there. The taco thing is across from that. You have uh, 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 Al- Apu's Quickie Mart over there. It's a world. They made sure to like expand just a little bit. They didn't just give you the ride. They said, let's bring the world to life. I think I honestly think the Simpsons ride maybe have been the first beta testing to what we got with the, the Super Nintendo world. They went from, right. they went from um, the Simpsons to Harry Potter making that a very interactive land and now leading up to Super Nintendo World, man. But imagine getting faded at Toad's Taverns, though. They're not going to put alcohol. They're not going to let you drink in Super Nintendo World. That's, That's why we not need- up to them. That's up to Universal. Okay. I think Nintendo has a say in Nintendo Land. <laughs> but you can, drink, you can drink in Hogwarts. Uh, Butterbeer is an alcoholic. You can get an alcoholic, right? I'm way. asking. I don't know. I'm asking. That I'm aware. Oh, then why are you talking so passionately? I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, I, like I've seen like you can drink in The Simpsons. I'm just figuring like, yo, alcohol gotta be. Like, who's gonna stop everyone from drinking? 
No, you can definitely grab a beer from any part of the land that you want to and then walk over there for sure. But I don't picture Toad having his own, you know, weird branding beer on Brand. tap. Like, what do you want, Will? Like, nah. And look, Bo <laughs> Bowser <laughs> beer. Wait till wait. When you see the Bowser beer with his whole logo right there, I, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just look. I'm gonna just look at you. Why don't we give enough. Bowser enough credit for being a great villain? That's a conversation for another day. He yeah. is a great villain. He and really is, man. There's also uh, theories that there she's at, he's actually with Peach, and their problems come from Mario keep intervene, intervening. But that's uh, I don't want to slander the uh, Nintendo name. Let's actually go into yeah, let's it. <laughs> let's zoom let's zoom a little bit into it. I want to see I want to see. So is this the parking lot? This little star area? Yeah, no, that's the entrance. Oh, so, that's the entrance, yeah. That's the entrance. So you'll walk through here, and I think that's where like they have gift shops and stuff like that too. Yeah, so pretty, pretty yeah, so pretty much this will take you from Hogwarts into here. And like I said, the first thing you walk into basically is Peach's Castle. So Peach's Castle will be behind you, and that's what you'll see when you exit. So that's the pink um, at the beginning. So do you think that that's just an entrance or do you think that there might be like a gift shop there or like some type of ride? How do you think they're gonna use Princess Peach's castle? That's a good question, man. From what I'm seeing, like it looks like the entrance. Cause if you notice, there's a huge set of stairs that you go down. Like if you go up, so we see right here the entrance we're walking through. I think that will be the inside of Peach's castle. It's this little area that we got as you're walking in. Because if you look, that's like the foyer and the stairs that you'll go down right here closer to the left past of uh, the pink castle. Right. So, but that's a lot of area between that. That is a lot of area. And the and and I know that they wouldn't waste that. They, if you go to any other universal, they pack, they use every bit of every space. If it's yeah. just a waiting area, there's gift shops there. You know what I mean? Like the the yeah. uh, Simpsons area that you actually have a ride is sort of like tucked off in the back, but it's like a full screen ride. Like, I don't know. I feel like they're, it's your first impression. So I feel like it's gotta be something. I feel like maybe just like the actual Peach Kingdom, like you might have folks like, I bet that, I think that might be like the help center. Like you go in there, you got people dressed up in like the Peach's uh, like authentic robes and stuff like there. You might have Peach there to greet you and stuff. I would figure like, you know, like kind of the big Mickey Mouse type thing, but I would figure that'd be the place where like gift shops are, place to get like information, your wit, your bands and stuff like that before you walk out. Don't you know. don't want to see Peach with Mickey Mouse? You, you would I don't think Universal be doing that. I don't think they do the whole walk around character thing. I mean, they don't, but like you can see Nintendo. They do. They, they do. they do. They have Beetlejuice there, but he's human. Oh, yeah. He's human. So that's the thing, too. So that's what I'm talking about. are there, but they're like in the big suits. You know, they're humans with those that's big tall standing on stilts. Yeah. So they do that type Buzz of Buzz Lightyear, too. Buzz Lightyear be out Buzz there. And that Hulk in the Whoville was there as humans. Yeah. They so. definitely bring out the Grinch during Halloween, I mean, uh, Christmas time. I but now here's the question. Do y'all want realistic Peach no. and Mario or do you want no. the big ones? I'd rather the big ones. No, yeah. I'd rather a realistic Peach, uh, uh, Mickey okay. Mouse Mario. I nah, see what you're saying. nah, you know why? Cause they not gonna give Peach that thing. Like uh, they put that wagon on her they're, boy. They're not gonna put their wagons on them. <laughs> Nintendo Peach. land wouldn't want that. Peach and Zelda gotta have that wagon on them if they gonna be real. I don't think I don't think uh, the derriere is big in Japan. <laughs> and we just need the we just need the big mascot like characters. If I saw a realistic Italian dude go, "It's a me, Mario," I would probably turn around and leave. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> and if I saw Luigi with the same nose as the character, I'm like, it's time to go. Give us the give us the styrofoam uh, costumes with the felt on. We'll we'll take it. The oh. thing that kind of throws me for a loop with this is with Star Wars Land, right yeah. here in, at Disneyland, they have it based on like reservations and time constraints. You could you could get a ticket to go, but you could only be in there from this amount of time to this amount of time, and then they clear it out and let the new group, whoever's after that group, be able to walk in. Wow! Looking at this layout of this Super Nintendo world, man. It don't look that big. It don't you look like you could run around this. You know, like if this was a um, obstacle course, that's what it kind of looks like. I mean, I know we're seeing it from overhead view. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna pack it out and have everyone be able to be in there. Because like, where do you stand for a ride? Like, what do you do? Right. Well, it's a good thing that you did mention that because if you zoom out, I think the reason why they built it like this is based off of the allure of what they're trying to present. 
So with Super Nintendo Land, uh, one of the coolest features that they have on here is that you get to interact with Super Nintendo Land while you're in there. So there's an app that you'll download and there's also a wristband that you'll be given. So it's like different varieties like Peach, Toad, Luigi, Mario, Bowser. And what you do is it's kind of think of like Pokemon Go. It's an interactive land where you have to move about. So it'll allow you to explore through Super Nintendo Land and be interactive with it with the wristband. So take for instance, Mario's famous jump in to hit the question box to get the mushroom, correct? Yep. So in this land, you can actually take your wristband, jump up and hit the circle and it, the app will tell you what the next thing is to do or what you've won for you to be able to go collect, which I would think may be in Peach's Castle. Mm. Um, so I this now would make sense as to why it is kind of small because if you're doing a challenge and going through these things like your Mario, you know, you wouldn't want to be waiting in line or trying to go here or go there. It would be taking you through all of these obstacles, which is kind of what it looks like. It looks like just a giant Mario level. Yeah. That's that's kind of what my theory is, because I originally thought that it was going to be laid out like old school Disneyland. How old school Disneyland had like the place where you can go to Indiana Jones and then like, you know, what I mean, like the the uh, the teacup rides were over here. Toon, Toon, Toon or what is it? Toonville? Toontown. Toontown? Toontown yeah. was over here, like they tried to mix it up. That's kind of what I thought they were going to do with Nintendo properties. But now that I learned that there are specific uh, um, wristbands to Super Mario, you can't really mix IPs with that interactivity. So right. I think my theory is you see how big Hogwarts is. You see that they have the whole castle, a lake, the uh, Diagon Alley or, or, or that the sort of town part. Mm -hmm. Nintendo is a makes more money than Harry Potter off top. So numbers talk. So what I think is that since Nintendo has so much more IP, they're going to expand past this and they'll have like a high rule. They'll have like a, a, a jungle for Donkey Kong. I think that these properties are so big that yeah. they're each going to get their own mini segment and then they'll each have their own interactivity because you can't really mix the two within Ooh, Mario Land. A Smash Bros. Land? Bro. <laughs> Well, that would be yeah, that's but now what you say in that though, and based off of this picture, now that kind of opens up some more theory. So, like, if we can, Kadeem, if you can zoom out just a little bit, zoom out. That's I think that's it. Yeah. So, like, if we notice, like, if you see Hogwarts, Hogwarts of course has the castle, but if you see the big building behind it, that's where the ride is. Now, if you look towards Nintendo Land, if you look at Bowser, you'll see this building oh. that's over there. So they may open that up to become a ride. And if you also see the other interactive uh, thing that kind of looks like the Mario level, there's a yellow tunnel that you can go in. So that might lead to that building that might be a ride. It may not be there just yet, but that may be, as you said, be expanding to. Now, one thing I did also find out, if we go up just a little bit, and I think this is something y'all all gonna get excited about. You see where these trucks and these vans are? Yeah reportedly and supposed and confirmed that is where the mario kart ride will be That's and if right. you notice the entrance it's a speedway oh shit, so that is. that is probably where mario kart is gonna go so basically what you're saying is mario kart's up in this lot and then this building down here could be bowser's castle yeah, yeah. or like another or like a full mario level you could go through That's dope. All right. Well, I mean, shit. That's that's great. Let's uh let's go back down into Super Mario Land because I kind of yes. just want to look at what we before predicting the future. Let's look at what we got now. I love how they incorporated like every style of Mario. Like shout out to them putting in the Mario uh, pyramids up here at the top. Yeah. <laughs> From oh, two. Where's uh, the piranha plants gonna jump out of, man? Which green little uh? Pipe is a piranha plant. I'm seeing it. some already. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing the flowers as well. Uh, I see the factory. I see the factory in here. Yeah. Hey, it is right there. I see him. Oh, there's spot. one right there too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the ghost. Shout out to the little goat ghost guy over there to the left. Where? Whoa. If you see, uh, it's kind of by Bowser's Castle. It's a little brown building. If you come up, if you take your mouse key, come up a few. I think you see it. Yeah, you're you're real close to it. Go up just a little bit. That's the shy, shy guy. guy. Oh, shy, shy guy's guy. right there. 
Yeah. I don't see any booze. I don't either. <laughs> Pat brought up a great point about, you know, as successful as this is going to be, you know, this was supposed to be released or supposed to be opened uh, for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Uh, we do not have a confirmed date of when they're going to open it in Tokyo or when other, you know, universal properties will end up adding this to their, their place. But when Pat brought up them expanding to games like Zelda with Hyrule, it makes me think when it's time to do a space adventure type ride, who gets that mark? Oh, Metroid. Star Fox or Samus? Metroid. Or Mario. Or Mario. Mario. Damn it. Mario did go to space. Mario's he done it all. Everything. Mario has done it all. I would, never, it. I would never make a Metroid before I just ran back Mario for space. Like, See here, and that's the thing, too. Know. Yeah, that's the thing, too, we got to also realize. This is just this first part. There's still so much to Mario that I think is going to get unlocked before we even get other games because we forgetting Wario. Wario definitely is going to have a part in this. Yeah. And, his, and his spot. Hey, don't do that. Don't you do that. You I don't, think, I don't think he's don't that do popping. That. I don't think he's that popping for families, though. You got to think this is a family park and Mario is perfect for everything. But you got Bowser. So Bowser's, he, his, Bowser's his main villain, the main bad War, guy. Wario's acceptable. I'm not talking about like a big chunk of the part, but you'll definitely have like, like I'm saying, you have so many other people in just the Mario world. You'll make it. This, this can expand. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying like, oh, a full Wario walkthrough. Fuck no, no. Like Wario, dope, but he ain't that dope. But you got so many other things like that. And then, like I said, the Mario Kart ride, Mario Party, like bringing Mario Party to life. Uh, yeah, like you said, definitely gonna have some interactive stuff for Mario Party. Mario Galaxy. Mar Honestly, I know people shit on this, but I think this would be a great attraction. Mario Sunshine for kids. An interactive Mario Sunshine would be dope as fuck. Nah. <laughs> as much as I love nah, that game, what do you think? Give the kid a hose and make him clean up. <laughs> and spray right? the down, middle one. <laughs> Listen, we did you, Mario. We thought it was unbelievable, but you've seen what Meg did to her son. He loves to sweep. So, hey, put the kids to work. I will say if there was a water park, that would be amazing for uh, Sunshine. There we go. But there we go. We, we yeah, opened it up. That would be dope. Great levels for, uh, for water. Wow, a Nintendo water so, park. So can we confirm that maybe Pokemon World will be brought to life here? Here? I don't know. That's huge. It's going to take some time. It ain't going to happen in the next two, three years. I'm calling five, six. Honestly, now here's the thing, though. Hmm. Would it be in Universal or would they just go out on their own? Oh, no. Stay in Universal. Stay. Do they have Pokemon in Universal? No. But I'm saying this is Super Nintendo yeah. World. This isn't Super Mario World. This is Nintendo. So yep. all properties are on the table here. Yeah, what, what is the connection with Nintendo and Universal, though? I don't know. I don't know. I guess they just decided uh, to partner li up. Licensing. Licensing and the fact that they have a park. So the thing is, with this, I would I would think that Nintendo doesn't have to go through all the laws and things of trying to have, find a place, get the licensing to become a theme park to be able to open up this attraction. Like, Universal has all of that. So all they got to do is pay for the licensing and then start opening up the space. Now that I think about that, they should have just made a Super Nintendo world by itself. That should have been its own thing. Cause you could yeah. do whatever. Yeah, and That's then you gotta do the maintenance. Part. And you gotta do the maintenance and stuff like that. You gotta remember all these people that is gonna be hired here will work for Universal, not for Nintendo. Well, some will work for Nintendo, mm -hmm. but the workers will be Universal. That's why Mario is where he's at right now. He makes smart decisions. I don't know why I picture Super Mario making all the decisions for Nintendo. I feel like he he signed the contract to make this happen, but he right. walked up to the Universal guy. Pleasure doing business. With you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Imagine if that that was the last signature that go in. Like they just like, all right, we got everything finalized. We just need to come have our representative sign, and then just a big ass styrofoam Mario walk in, and he's just like, I need a pen. <laughs> oh, 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 and there we go. And then he just walk off like, all right. Yeah. That's, his first that's, name. that's his symbol. Mario oh. Jumpman. That's his, that's his actual middle name, right, Gideon? Yeah, no, that is his real name. Mario that's Jumpman. Yeah, Mario Jumpman Mario is Mario's yep. real name. His name is Mario Mario? Yep. Yeah. 
You don't remember the movie? Man, and Luigi's is Luigi Mario. I don't count the movie. I yeah. didn't no, but that, that, that was the only thing they got right was their names. It's no. Mario Jumpman Mario and Luigi Jumpman Mario. That's why they're the Mario Bros, because it's their last name? Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. I thought it was just like, I, the popular one was Mario. So they were like the Mario brothers. They're we've both we've been Mario. we've been giving Mario credit in every damn thing that he does. Everything. That's true. He I just mean, can't lose. He can't lose, bro. I mean, but let's face it. He he's carrying the team on his back. Like let's just let's not act like he hasn't brought he he brought us out of video game. Like we could not have video games if it wasn't for this man. The jump man was like, yo. I got it. We're doing this. You don't think Let's... Luigi Luigi's pulling his own weight? He got his own. He got his own. Well, it's not his mansion, but he, he got his own little series. Luigi yeah. is the Memphis Bleak oh, of Stop. Nintendo. Stop. And Mario be going as long as I'm alive. He's a millionaire. That's that's what he be telling Luigi. You good? You can go do your little mansion, do your little stuff. Yeah, you know mm. I got you in Smash Bros. We mm. we eating. We good. So then who's the breakout star in Nintendo under Mario? There, uh, there is none. Mario Mario literally just he's he's in Mario bro. reigns supreme. Mario reigns yeah. supreme, bro. Yeah. No other right. no other uh character had huge games like Listen, that. Listen, because uh, Link is called Zelda eight times a day. No, 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 dude, don't do that. I'm talking about within the Mario world. Okay. Clearly, Link is a breakout star. I was not counting him. Don't I, do that. No, I oh, you just in Mario? I am Mario. Just that? I'm letting you know that people still call Link Zelda, and until they that do. stops happening, you gotta accept that. Until that so, stops happening. So look at look at Link's numbers though. <laughs> look at Link's numbers. That's, that's the not, only. That's the only Link's numbers. That's face. Zelda's numbers. <laughs> <laughs> the plaque, when the awards come out, Zelda is gonna be written on there, not Link. That's the name of the game. That doesn't matter. Why does? Why do people think that that matters? It does. <laughs> Unfortunately, it we, matters, we can't. Everyone knows that Mario's called Mario. Not everyone knows that Link is called Link. That doesn't affect the numbers. Just, just look them up, guys. Just, it doesn't. It, you know what? It, we love it, it doesn't it. affect numbers, but it does affect your audience from growing. Because here's the thing: his branding like, is shit, Pat. When, you hear, <laughs> yeah, when you hear God of really? War and you bring in Kratos, it's like okay, because the thing says God of War. When you think of Zelda, you're thinking of a person, and they'd be like the story of Link. And God of Dad. War is called God of War. That doesn't take away from Kratos. Final right. Fantasy is called Final Fantasy. Doesn't take away from Cloud. There's because a it's, a of, name. A it's a name. It's a lot of books and movies that doesn't feature the main person's name in it, and that doesn't affect anything. But, but it doesn't name. feature another name. It's not like it's, a, the it's another character's name yeah. on that cover, though. It's like me having a movie, and I go the Legend of Patrick Cloud. Starring. Like, <laughs> Sorry, well, if I was in it, then it was. You're not. It, yeah, but it's but not every, about you. That's a very weak argument. I'm saying within the Mushroom Kingdom, All there's right. not, not a lot of breakout stars. Clearly, oh. like Donkey Kong and Zelda, if you go outside, but li literally within Mushroom Kingdom, I don't think anybody is really popular. No, actually, no, that was it. You just said it, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong is on because original. The Technically, original, he started there. He started, there. yeah. Donkey Kong is who put Mario on, and Technical. then Mario yeah. got the Mario Brothers. Yeah, technically speaking, That's you can hilarious. go that route. Yeah, you can go that route. Donkey Kong put Mario on. Donkey yeah. Kong put Mario on. If we just be, if we just throwing it out there. Yeah. That's true because yeah. it was called Donkey Kong. But yeah. I, but to your point though, there's nobody that without Mario you'd go off by like you'll never play Peach's Adventures by by yourself. You'll even Bowser like, huh? Is that a thing? No, I'm just saying, like how you were saying, like as far as like breakout, there's nobody to be like, like any of them, if they, if this was like real life and any of them start talking shit, Mario could be like, nigga, you can't do shit without me. Ain't nobody finna watch Bowser fight nobody else but me. I, I love Bowser, but this is my same argument with Venom and Spider-Man. I didn't want to see a Venom movie without Spider-Man. Wait a minute. No, let's not do that. Cause Venom, well, no, let's not that, do that. that's not fair. Venom <laughs> was dope. Don't do that. I wouldn't okay. see Carnage without Spider-Man, but there we go. Really? Now, <laughs> but before we go way too far off the rails, uh, what is everybody's final thoughts about uh, Super Nintendo World? Um, you, what, what do you, what are you guys thinking? What are you guys looking the most forward to? I'm ready for it to roll out, man. I wish it was already being built here. Um, I do have an insider source at Universal that says that it should should have began production 
this summer. They would have started building here in LA. Um, but we're gonna oh, have to wait. Ours? Yes, yeah. ours. Oh. It was supposed to be start being built this summer uh, here wow. at Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh, but you know, due to the pandemic, everything got closed down or shut down. So we'll just have to wait and see. But nonetheless, I'm excited about this world to be built. I'm excited to try it, try it out. I definitely want to get my hands on one of the the power the power up bands. There's a Yoshi one. There's a Peach one. A Mario Luigi. Which one y'all? Which one y'all getting here? Oh, this last one is. Go you guys should go second. check it out if you're watching. Please go and check. Look up the power up bands from uh, the Super Nintendo world. But I'm ready for it to roll out, man. I'm really curious on what that Mario Kart ride may look like will they actually let people get in go-karts and just roll oof yeah yeah that's a liability that's a hell of a liability. liability disneyland opened up a cars the little cars thing and they kept the cars on the tracks they're like yeah you want to ride you want to drive here here's a driver's license sit your ass on this track oh that's right you can't I think drive I still it have anywhere to yeah hey honestly though if if we if we are if you're doing kind of like that it's kind of dumb, but it may work. They might do something with the phones as well. So like being able to like be in Mario Kart and drive, they may be able to have you interact with your phone to where like if you hit a, a bump or something, that'll be the, the question marks and you'll know what you have. And then you could try to throw it at your person in front of you and then it'll rattle and then let you go in front of them. Something like that. I'm just I'm just spitballing when it comes to like those ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think they, I don't think they want to promote any driving while having your phone in your hand. Well, no, I'm just saying, if you said it's on the tracks, though. Mm. Oh, exactly. okay, yeah. I didn't mean just be like, yo, like regular driving, like, oh, let me swipe up and hit this dude with a mushroom. That's right. stupid. No, right. but on the tracks, that will work. But um, overall, I like it. I like the uh, concept of what they're doing. I was already excited just Nintendo alone and being able to walk in and just see the big ass like mantis or like shy guy just kind of sitting there waving. I was already excited, but the concept of using an app, using a watch to be able to do all of these things to interact and get stuff. And then to just, it made me more excited just us talking about the concepts of what can happen. So this, this is just like for, for us as video gamers, man, it's great to finally have a place where we can actually go explore something true. that we grew up on. Dreams come true, man. I'm just now noticing in the bottom right, the actual entrance does have like Super Mario World and they have the three green pipes right there for people to stand on. That's pretty cool. The pictures? Yeah. yeah. Now that I'm looking at the entrance, I'm seeing that the like a, a scaled person is a lot smaller than I thought. So this might be a big ass portion of the park. You know what I mean? Like it might mm -hmm. not be as small as we were thinking because if you yeah. look, if you just try to picture yourself walking through that thing, you're probably like, a lot. I, I wish there was like some people in this. For right. Because I'm uh, looking at. I didn't you know what. No, you, you you're kind of right, Pat. I I don't. I think it's not massive, but it isn't as small as we're dictating. Because if you kind of look at the cars and then just kind of in your head think of like the size of what a person would be like in this car, this truck in this parking lot at the bottom, and then kind of walking around that, that it, it could fill people. But I think they're gonna do like how. uh Cleo said they're doing with the Star Wars stuff, like limited uh, amount of people in there to go through it, come out, and then start to let other folks in. I mean, th think about lining up for stuff like this. Think about lining up for, you know, what we're dealing with at the moment in the world. Lining up for a ride is going to be ridiculous because you got to have six right. inches from family, family, family. Oh, you want yeah, a date, you by yourself, another yeah. family. It's going to be ridiculous to even get on a ride. Oh yeah, you're gonna be past Hogwarts. Butter <laughs> <laughs> beers in line and stuff. But Big I mean, bucks. COVID got the got tickets cheap. I might risk it a little bit. Might just get. <laughs> Are we going to Japan? Are we going to Japan? Go. I'm trying to go, man. We got. <laughs> I'll 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 catch COVID for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put my gas mask on for this. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. I'm not trying to catch COVID, but it, this is worth. To test the flight to see if we good, why not to Japan? Why not to Super Nintendo World? Why not? Yeah, man. I just want people to mistake me for Shaq. Can we see the other one really quick before we before we go? That that 3D version model? Oh, that's right. Yeah. So we can just see exactly like how close they actually got it to the model. I'm ready for this. I can't flex. Yeah, let me get that for you guys. I'm, I'm trying to think to about like, what do you guys think is in Bowser's castle? Can you guys see, can you guys see it right there or no? Nope. Okay. Uh, uh, man, uh, flames. A lot of flames and magma. <laughs> yeah. 
He's a fan of those. Oh, no. <laughs> I need the music to be just like it. Dun, dun, mm, dun, dun. Mm. Did you see it there? <laughs> you guys oh, see, wow. see, you see it there? Super yeah, we see close it. to it. Piranha plants, Bowser's freaking castle, like with his horns at the top of the uh, damn stern. Little this toad houses. The toad hut. Yeah, like I this. feel like a little kid right now. <laughs> Yo, they even got the Bowser blocks outside too at the top right. You can't even really fully appreciate this if you're like a little kid too. No. Nah. Like this is this looks like this is for adults. If oh. I'm being honest. Like they didn't build this for kids. That's why it's Super Nintendo Land. I think that they're starting with Super Nintendo so that they can keep expanding throughout the years. Because by the time they get to like Switch properties, it's nuts. Oh man! So like, here's the thing, though. What all? What Mario pieces do you think are incorporated in this land? So like, it's saying Super Nintendo World. So is this all the stuff from Super Mario World on Super Nintendo? Well, I mean, look at the castle. That's yeah. a very, that's a, I don't think his castle looked like that since Super Nintendo. So mm -hmm. if you take it to advance, like you see the thwomp over in the, the top right, that's mm -hmm. kind of an early design too. You know, they don't really look like that anymore. Yeah. Uh, pir piranha plants have been pretty consistent. Is that, is that the caterpillar thing that has like different body portions up here underneath the thwomp? Do you see it? It's stacked, it has a bunch of circles. Could even put the mouse. Oh, those are tough to beat. <laughs> is that what that is? It looks like it. Yeah. That could be that. Oh, that's it crazy. is. No, so this is this is Super Mario World. If you go, that's up, cool. Yeah, because there's the Bowser blocks are there. Go up a little bit, Kadeem. See right there, the Bowser blocks. Remember in the state, like the castle, you can go in Super Mario World. Boom! It was slammed yeah. down. Nintendo and slammed down. So this is based off of. I don't oh see shit! Hey, What's the cannon? Hey, Bullet Bill. Bullet Bill. Yup. Okay, so that's what they're doing. This is Super Mario World off of Super Where's Nintendo. Where's the Bowser block? What is that? You see the gray blocks right here? Go go up right there where the uh, mouse is? Oh, that's a thwomp. Thwomp. That's, oh, that's what it's called? Yeah, it's a thwomp. Oh, okay. I was like, where's the Bowser block? No, I just call them coins. Go down, go down really quick. I saw that, you guys know that spiky vine right there on the bottom left? It being like oh. the desert? It's like, like that. Oh, spiky. yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way to the left. To the left, next to the Toad Hut. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we got that too. Literally where your mouse is. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, the ones that used to move and stuff like that. Yeah. Damn. Yep, I think they're keeping it Super Nintendo, which is dope. That's so dope. That means they can expand so much. They have like 20 years to, to do. Right. <laughs> this is insane, man. Like, I, man, yeah, we got to go to Japan. I'm like, in. I, I don't even want to be American. I want to go. I want to power up, man. I'll probably never take it off. Right. <laughs> gonna be disgusting <laughs> Ew. Ew. all right well that is uh that has been universal studios japan's unveiling of the nintendo world uh hopefully all of this mess going on outside uh you know calms down so that we can get back to enjoying ourselves and and just like the amazing things that are ahead of us because i'm really surprised that la is getting one before orlando we're Crazy. getting we're gonna have ours built first right According to my source, they started building. They were supposed to start building this summer. It's uh, it's it's bets that you have to put in too. Like uh, well, not bets, bids on what come, what they're looking for. So basically, um, uh, what they'll get next. So I think Orlando got something before everyone else, and now it's LA's turn. So we're yeah, Harry getting, Potter. Yeah, they got Harry Potter before everybody. So we're getting Nintendo now. Oh, I'll take that every day of the week for sure. Yeah. Cause they don't know, cause they never know like what's about to be bought, but they'll be like, "This is what we're booked for." Bet, I'm I'm excited. Yeah. Run it up. We'll be there. Arcade tokens are gonna take over Super Nintendo World too. We'll yeah. be there. Arcade tokens goes to Japan, and we're gonna be in cosplay, and we're pulling up like the characters. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm definitely walking in there as Wario for uh, Luigi. Up, purple. Oh, yeah. Man, let's do it. <laughs> All right, man. Well, thank y'all for tuning in to us. Make sure y'all let us know how y'all feel about Super Nintendo Land. Um, and yeah, so as always, this is the Arcade Tokens. I've been Will Farrow. Leo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. Patrick Cloud. And we will catch you next time. Yeah.